Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, here today with another video. This is actually probably my most exciting sorting video yet. I have so many dream cards in this sort. I do not know how I acquired them all at once, but I I'm just like still in shock and disbelief <laughs> honestly I spent way too much money I will admit that but you know what it's my hobby I live at home <laughs> that's my excuse so um, yeah lots of things to sort today lots of things to talk about especially with what's been going on lately with BTS um, I hope I won't get emotional in this video. Um, I've had time to sort through my thoughts on everything and and I'm kind of content now. Um, I feel like we all went through a huge emotional whiplash the last week. Um, I'm filming this and right now, how long ago was Comeback? It was definitely, it's Tuesday, so it was a little more than a week ago Comeback was. Um, we kind of went through an emotional whiplash <laughs> with uh, this comeback, kind of, with everything going on. Um, and so it, I've had some times to sort through my feelings on the matter and I'm, I think I'm, I'm not, I think, I am happy with how I feel. So if you want to stick around and watch this video and watch me ramble um, as I sort some of my <laughs> dream photo cards and I have a lot of proof stuff. I don't have all my all my proof stuff completed yet but I have a, a good chunk of it in this um, binder sort. So I just want to make a quick note that I do spend quite a bit of time discussing the Festa dinner and um, what BTS has announced so far I do spend like five to six minutes just talking about it and my feelings about it so if you guys don't feel like listening to that or watching that you can um, skip ahead I put timestamps in the video uh, for that reason so I like to think my thoughts are okay but I understand if you guys are still not wanting to really discuss it um, so yeah enjoy the video that's what we'll we'll talk about today so as kind of the tradition i guess <laughs> i only have two sorting videos but as the tradition we're going to start in my tour binder um for the day so i have a few tour things to put away um i have some tour cards i love how my last video i said that this set was the saddest page in my tour binder because i only had one card and now i have the full set so <laughs> We'll talk about that. Um, so where did I last leave you guys um, in my last sorting video? I think I had just gotten home from Vegas. Oh my god, it's been a while. Um, so one, I'm going to Chicago. <laughs> I'm probably going to like jump all around with topics today. So I'm going to Chicago for Hobie Palooza. I'm so, so excited. Um, so I, okay, I have a, another Wings uh photo card here this is five out of six so let me see how i sorted this because i always sort this weird so three this is three out of six so that would make that four and then five will go right here also you guys since my last video i got um new binder pages if you can't tell so i was using my amazon japan pages and in my first sorting video I talked about how much I loved the Amazon Japan pages um, and then I like continued using them for a while and I just didn't like them as much as I had originally thought I did. Um, the photo cards were slipping and sliding out of all the pages and while they fit and everything they just weren't a good fit so I joined um if you guys follow writer ash on Linda on Instagram I had joined her go for some uh oh my god I'm blanking the cosmic I think that's the brand name they're the same as the Andy Jack pages I had joined her go so I got a bunch of my pages in the mail and I actually found where to buy more so so far, <laughs> I won't jinx myself this time, but so far, I'm loving these pages a lot more than the Amazon Japan pages. So if anyone wants 20 Amazon 8 Pocket Japan pages, hit me up on Instagram because I'll be selling them. Um, I have no need for them anymore. So 
here's the wings page i'm super excited because i have both the essay book photo card on the way and the lenti on the way which i never thought i would get the guys i'm like sorry i'm like rambling i have so much to talk about in this video but i recently have like acquired or have on the way like a crap ton of my dream cards which is insane to me so i have the yungi's wing lenti on the way um and it will be here probably on my next sorting video which is insane for me to say so yes back to what i was talking about so i will be going to vegas i am so excited um not vegas oh my god <laughs> i sound so insane in this video I will be going to Chicago. This was a very last minute decision as I'm sure everyone that's going to Chicago made it a last minute decision. So I am a TXT fan, but I am not going to both days. I'm just going to uh, Sunday of Lollapalooza for Hobie. I am actually seeing TXT the week before. I see TXT on the 23rd and then I fly out to Chicago on the 30th. So. <laughs> So I'm already seeing TXT, most of my friends only wanted, they're not huge TXT fans that I'm going with, they wanted to just go to Sunday and I didn't want to go alone obviously. So I will not be seeing TXT at Lollapalooza but I will be seeing them beforehand at home. Okay, so I have this whole, let's see, I have this whole, as usual in my videos, nothing is organized or ready. <laughs> So I have this whole set um, I got from my, um, oh my gosh, hold on. Guys, as we've established, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So this is actually for this set. <laughs> I think I need to take a deep breath and just recenter myself. I'm trying a new setup here. I'm, I moved my desk in front of my window to get more natural light, but it's like a hundred bajillion degrees outside in California right now. And I am like actually sweating while I'm doing this because my air conditioning is not on. I don't know why, but it's not on right now. So I love how this set is slowly coming along. I think I have a new card, at least one new card in every single binder sort I've done so far. So hopefully we continue that trend and I can finish this set sooner rather than later. Okay, so now here's the whole set. This is the Happily Ever After, the official fan meeting volume four. Okay, I have the whole set. I got this from um, a mutual on Twitter that I'm friends with, uh, Respect Gloss. They're great. They sell a lot of their stuff. So, okay, so here's eight out of eight. So yeah, I will be going to Chicago. I've jumped around in this conversation so many times, but I'm so excited. I'm literally going I'm flying in on Saturday and I will be there Sunday and then I'm flying home Monday. So it's a super, super quick trip, but I'm so excited to see Hobie and I'm so excited to see what he does for like a solo set. Um, I know we've had one solo performance, um, non-June, I think, was it in 2015? It was at like a rap, um, concert. Please do not quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure if that's right, but... Um, I don't think we've had like a solo performance since then. So I'm excited to see how Hobie does. He will do amazing. I know he will, but I'm like excited to see what he sings. And I know that Hope World 2 is also coming out. So I think we're just like in for a real treat, honestly. <laughs> I'll come back with my next video and I'll um, let you guys know how, how it went. Um, Cause I probably won't film before before then my mail gets here I don't get as much mail as some other collectors that I watch on YouTube so um, it takes longer for me to film to build up enough stuff to film one of these binder sorts so yeah we'll see how it goes I'll let you guys know how how fun it was because I know it's gonna be fun and amazing okay sorry I had to pause my recording for a minute because like I said, I'm in front of my window and my mailman came up and I didn't want him to see me talking to myself in the window. So yes, this is this complete set. Um, it makes me so happy every time I complete a set. So hopefully we'll continue to do that. Um, nothing more here, but I do have, let me actually grab a binder page because I'm not prepared as per usual. Let's see. 
where are we going? So we're going to right before Bang Bang Con. Or actually right before Mott's tour that never happened. Okay. So let me grab a binder page. Okay. Finally back with the page because I can literally never find anything when I need it. Um, so I got these from the same person that sold me the full fan meeting set. Um, I have four of the Speak Yourself final uh, photo cards. So half of the set, hopefully, as I always say, I can complete this soon. And we will have another full set on our hands. So, how did you guys enjoy Come Back? Um, personally, I'm obsessed. I love, I think, um, Run BTS is my favorite on the album. Something about the song, <laughs> it's like that meme where it's like something about the song just makes you want to get up and bust a motherfucking move. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Run BTS. I'm just obsessed. I've listened to it so much. I wouldn't be surprised if that and Yet to Come are my most streamed songs of the year. Um, and also Yet to Come is just beautiful. I think I cried the first time that I listened to it when we were watching the music video when it dropped um, on comeback night. But it was just so emotional getting to see all the past... Uh, past oh my god I can't talk past like music video sets in that one video and just like how far they've come and how much they've grown as both people and a group um it's just insane to me that they have been going as long as they have um and that they still mean as much to people if you know what I mean um, and I guess this brings me into the next topic of kind of the whole what went on with them uh, with the festa dinner. Um, yeah, so I took my time to like be shocked and upset before we kind of like had clarification and you know we didn't really know what was gonna happen and yeah i was working a lot when i was actually at work when the festa dinner dropped so i couldn't like i mentioned i'm a night shift nurse and i'm a labor and delivery nurse so it's pretty busy i can't really <laughs> watch or go online that much when i'm at work but i it was actually somehow <laughs> it was actually not that busy the night that um the festa dinner dropped and so i was seeing all this stuff while i was at work and i will be honest it was kind of like um traumatizing and okay i don't want to say traumatizing but it was like scary because we didn't really know this was like as the dinner was going on we didn't really know like what the future was going to hold so i kind of got home had a good cry went to sleep and then i woke up and kind of watched everything and and kind of just wallowed <laughs> i don't want to say wallowed but like took my time to be sad um okay before i continue that talk I want to talk about this page because this is new. This was not in my last binder sort. So I remember I was mentioning how it was difficult to sort these because there's only four of them in total um, and that I couldn't fit this one. Well, I found a, um, thanks to a collector I watch, My Sunday Rest, um, she told me where to get these bigger pages well I have them on another um I have another pack of like the nine pockets but they're bigger and they'll fit the mini tour pieces and then these are from scrapbook.com these also have like different like dimensions I don't know if that's how you would say that um I was looking for a page basically to put all these on and to put this on and I found it so thank goodness and I have the other two uh, soul PCs here finally because we know that I was a clown and didn't buy the set so I had to go out and find these <laughs> um, so yes we'll put four out of four here and then we will put this one up here so it hangs off a little bit on the side of my binder but 
It's a price I'm willing to pay to have these on the same side. And then I took this out of my other pocket. I still don't know if I'm going to keep this here, but for now I'm just going to put this right here. And I'll probably put a piece of tape back there later to make sure that it doesn't slide around in there. But there we go. We have a complete soul page finally. Um, okay. And then I know that I said I wasn't going to have any of these anytime soon because the last ones that I needed were Tae, Jungkook, and Jimin. And uh, those are harder for me to find. But I found Tay. <laughs> Let me grab him real quick. Um, yeah, someone I follow was selling him. So I was able to grab him. And um, now we will sort him. If I could find it. Here we go. Here's Tay. He's so cute. I love his... Okay, this is going to sound really weird, but I kind of have an obsession with Young's ears. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds weird or not, but I love his ears. I love how big they are. <laughs> I'm just going to stop before I keep sounding weirder and weirder. Um, but I love Young's ears, and I'm glad that we have a photo card that showcases them in all their glory. So I'm just going to put this here for now, and we will rearrange when I finally get Jimin and Jungkook and there we go it's looking better and better <laughs> I'm so excited okay hi I'm back sorry my camera died had to go charge it for a little bit as we've established I'm unprepared so we're flipping back to magic shop and this is where I'll be almost ending off in this binder for today um, cause then we'll move in to my album slash DVD binder. So here we go. Okay. So these are going to go here. Oh my gosh. Can you hear that airplane? <laughs> so I finally have these six pocket vertical pages, um, that I can put these in. I've had these for a while. Um, I just have not had, oh, I have four actually. I just have not had a chance to put them in a pocket page that fits. So here we go. So this is number five. So I have four. I don't know when I will get the fifth. Um, not a priority, but we'll, we'll sort them today. So here we go. So, as I was talking about earlier, before I skipped to talking about my photo cards, um, so yeah, after the Festa dinner, I kind of took a day or two to understand and really, like, take time to be sad. Because I am not in any way, I don't want this to come off, I'm not mad at them. I am actually the opposite I'm so proud of them um, I'm so proud that they had the courage to actually speak up about this um, and how they're they feel that they've kind of lost themselves um, I'm just so proud that they had the courage to talk about that and admit that to us because like Namjoon's letter um, like they all said it definitely probably was not easy to come to that decision to to actually discuss that with us um i think it takes a lot of courage and a lot of um faith in your fan base um to so candidly talk about it the way that they did i'm so proud of them for admitting that they need um a break from the way that they're currently doing things um but I'm also still sad, not sad at them. Like I said, I could never be upset with what they do to better themselves. I'm sad with the fact that while they they have said they are going to come back as a group, um, and they're not stopping group activities, I know that. They're still doing run and all that. So it's not a hiatus, what they said before. It's more of like a break from group stuff 
but they're still doing group stuff. You know what I mean. <laughs> You've all, you guys have all watched the videos and everything, but um, I'm glad that they're getting the time to branch out and do their own thing and kind of figure out, um, re refigure out themselves um, and make the music that they love. Um, but I'm still sad for the past. One of the things that I've always, I'm a newer BTS fan. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm actually a quarantine army. Um, so I'm just kind of out of the baby army stage. Um, my two year anniversary is soon. Um, and I kind of mourn the fact that I did not find them earlier. I regret it with kind of everything in my being. Um, I actually, the first time I heard about BTS was in 2016. So I had every opportunity to become a fan and I just didn't until later. Um, I had listened to Dope on repeat. I, in, tw in 2016, I remember I had a friend that was obsessed with EXO and she sat me down one night um, and showed me all of EXO's music videos and kind of explained K-pop to me and I remember one of the videos we watched was Dope and I had actually put Dope on my Spotify liked songs after that and I had re like relentlessly listened to Dope on repeat because I loved it so much um, and then I just never got into BTS. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't look into the music further because I could have been here for some of the best parts. <laughs> I re like I, when I, and I tell you I regret that every day. I really truly regret that every day. Um, I listened and dope. I just didn't look into them further. And I even when Fake Love came out too, I listened to Fake Love on repeat for forever. And I had listened to Boy With Love, so I had so many opportunities to get into them sooner, and I just didn't. Um, and I remember telling myself, I know if I just look into them, I will fall down the rabbit hole, and they'll become, like, everything to me. And at the time, I just had too many interests, and I was like, I don't have time for another interest. I'm so regretting that now. Um, so when I say I'm sad, I'm more sad for what I miss out on and what because while they will I don't know how to explain this I don't want this to sound like like I'm saying this wrong but while they will have group activities and they will come back as a group after they take this time to kind of work on solo stuff I don't feel that it will ever be the same um and I know a lot of people feel that way um and so I'm just sad about the fact that you know what I missed out on basically um and yeah I'm I'm feeling a lot better this week <laughs> I took a week to be kind of sad um I wasn't like like I don't know I kind of handle my emotions differently so I'm not gonna really get into it on my on this channel but um I've tried to look at the bright side of things and I think their future is so bright. I think they have such a long future ahead of them, no matter what like antis and the general public and the media say. I think they have such a long future ahead of them as a group. And I think this time with them working on solo activities is going to be just as amazing. I'm so excited to see what each of them does. Um, whether it be music related or like other stuff like I don't know maybe acting related I don't know I'm so excited to see what's coming and we already have Hobie on the way and Jungkook's releasing a song with Charlie Puth uh Puth I said <laughs> Puth on um Friday that it's Tuesday today so that's only a few days away um so yeah I hope I was able to convey those thoughts eloquently um if not I'm sorry but it's long story short, I'm so proud of BTS. I'm sad for what I've missed out on, but I'm so excited for what the future holds. And I know they're going to do amazing and they will succeed because they're BTS. <laughs> and they mean the absolute world to me. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to really say about that. Um, if I think of anything else later in this video, I'll say it. But 
yeah, I love BTS so much. So enough with my rambling, my emotional rambling. We've been on this page for a good five minutes now, I think. Um, let's move to my, let's see. I think we're gonna move to my album binder now, so. Okay, enough with the sadness. Let's get into what will be my favorite part of this video. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're starting in my album slash DVD um, binder right now. And like I mentioned, I have so many amazing cards. I'm like smiling so hard um, just thinking about it. I have so many amazing cards to sort in here today. I just cannot believe it that I'm sorting all these at the same time. Um, yeah, so enough of me talking. Let's sort proof first. So let's see. Um, I literally just got my proof set from Weverse today. It took forever to come. I actually went and bought <laughs> three compacts before I got my proof set. So I've made some clown moves. Um, <laughs> also totally off topic because I got new uh, one pocket pages. I can now display my signed pages. I really love to collect uh, uh, fan sign signed pages um, of Yoongi. My goal eventually is to have a signed page from every like era, every album that they've done a fan sign for. This is my third. I actually have two more. Um, I'm not going to show them because they're framed and they're on my shelf right now, but I have a signed page from the HYYH part one and then I have a signed page from Young Forever as well. I have those framed on my shelf because the Young Forever is a two page and it won't fit in a binder and then the HYYH part one is just my prettiest one and I want to display it. So like I said my goal is to eventually have one of each like album they've done a fan sign for like Persona and Wings and all that and have that at the front of my binder. Um, I just I love collecting signed things as well um, so eventually I hope to like this is I don't know if you guys have seen this but this is signed. This is a signed um, School of Affair bookmark from Yoongi. It's the very first signed thing I ever had from him and it's really special to me um so yeah i hope to grow my signed collection i am in no in absolutely no rush at all so we will continue that slowly but i hope to yeah grow that more i also have um jungkook too i don't know why i don't have it in here i have jungkook's dark and wild sign um that i need to put here so okay so let's flip to um proof so i eventually will so i know i've mentioned i keep jumping everywhere i've mentioned that i collect tiggy cook and i do but you don't see it in this binder because at the moment okay so here's the sets that you get with this standard version so i'm just going to sort these here um I know I've mentioned I collect them, but you don't see the evidence of me collecting them in this binder. And that's because I want to have a good amount of take up cards before I completely rearrange my binder. Because right now it's just Yoongi and I like the way that it's set up. Um, I want to have a good amount of Taeyong and Jungkook album cards before I rearrange everything because I don't want to have pages and pages of fillers, if you know what I mean. Um, I do have a medium amount of Jungkook cards, but I'm trying to grow my Taeyong cards first before I get to actually setting up my binder that way. So in the future, um, right now what I'm focusing on is um, Taekook's cards. Um, so there will be a video in the near future of me completely revamping my binder to fit uh, my Tiggy Cook collection. I don't know when, but it will be this year. <laughs> it will be within the next few months, definitely. Um, because with this new era that we're entering of BTS, I'm wondering if we're not going to have as much merch. This is probably me clowning myself. Um, they're probably going to release just as much merch because capitalism, but 
I'm hoping that this new era gives me a little bit of time to catch up on things. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, look at how uh, I love having a full set. <laughs> I'm planning on also doing really cool fillers for all of my pages that need fillers. So that'll probably be another video in and of itself. But I'm planning on using extra albums that I don't use to make fillers. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but as I was saying, I'm hoping this new era, while I know that they're all releasing like official albums, and I'm wondering if that means that they will have like photo cards and stuff, I feel like this will still give me time to kind of prioritize other things that I couldn't really focus on because I was so focused on staying up to date with album cards, if you know what I mean. So within this new era, if we are given more of an opportunity to catch up on stuff, my main priorities are, I've kind of already listed them in my head, my Japanese collection for Yoongi because it is abysmal right now um, and I just haven't had, sat down and had the time to look for those cards. So my Japanese collection is my number one priority since his album card, Korean album is done. And then Taekook. My Taekook album cards are my second priority. And then tour cards and um, DVD cards are like, I, we'll sh I'll show you in this video, but DVD cards are close to being done. I cannot believe I'm like saying that. But DVD cards are more of a priority as I see it. You know what I mean? So, okay. And I also made some more clown moves. So I know I said I was not going to collect OT7. <laughs> um, but I kind of changed my mind. <laughs> so I will be collecting OT7 for the compact because I literally bought so many compacts that I might as well. And I, today was the, actually the only first time that I pulled a dupe. So I pulled Hobie today and actually my mom gave me, <laughs> my mom is an army as well. She doesn't collect or anything. So she buys the albums and then will give me and my sister the photo cards. So my mom pulled Hobie and gave me Hobie. And then I pulled Hobie in my compact today when I opened my set. So other than that, I don't have any dupes. I can't believe I pulled Jungkook because I literally never pulled him. I pulled him once in an album before. And I have like almost all of BTS's albums <laughs> and versions. So if that tells you how lucky I got, I got super lucky with that. So I just need um, Taeyang, Jimin, and Jin. And I am in a few group orders that should be able to finish out my compact collection. So hopefully I'll be able to get them in the group orders. Um, and we'll see a complete set soon. But I thought, you know, why not collect OT7? Um, I'm already buying enough. It's a special comeback. And I collected OT7 for B Essential. Um, I have not finished it yet. I still need Tay's card. But I decided why not collect OT7 for the comebacks that I'm like actually here for. So that's how this came about. So we have a little more than half completed. Um, and this will look a lot better later on. I'm so excited. So, okay. So we'll flip to here. So I do not have, I have all three of Yugi's lucky draws. Like I said, I was right with the three lucky draws. I have all three of his lucky draws on the way. And then I, um, did not pull him. I pulled June today. So I'm looking for a trade to get Yugi for the standard. Um, and then I got Jimin for the pre-order benefit. So if anyone wants to trade, I have um, Namjoon for the standard and I have Jimin for the Weaver's pre-order benefit. Um, you can go to my Instagram and message me there and we can trade. And so let's see. And then I'm in a go for this, but we haven't done sorting yet. So we'll see if I get that. Um, I'm I think I'm just gonna put this so I got two Jungkook's that in the psalm is that how you say it um photo cards that came with the set so I'm just gonna put this here and I got two Jungkook's so I'm trading one for Yoongi so I'll put Yoongi's right there um and that's literally all I have for this page right now I don't know what I'm gonna put here because this is originally where I was putting the compact but 
we'll figure it out later. So, um, this is what I have for this page. It'll be fill in my next binder sort, hopefully. Um, yeah. And then postcards. So, I decided just for the compact, I'm just going to go ahead and collect Takey Cook. So, we're going to... Um, this is standard, but it's going to be compact postcard. And I do have the group here. So I need Jungkook and I have Yoongi on the way in a trade. So let's see. Let's, let's rearrange these. So I'm going to put the group here. And then we'll put Taeyong up here. And then Jungkook will go here, and then Yugi will go here. And then on the back, I'll put Yugi's standard postcard and the standard group postcard when I find them, because I don't have those yet. So that's what that's the plan. That's what we'll do. Okay. So we're okay, guys. This is the first really exciting photo card. I was actually shaking when I opened this, but oh my god, this is Yoongi's Magic Shop um, Japan Fan Club Renewal. I Let me take it out of its uh, sleeve so you can see. I don't know if you can see the, the heart hollow effect. This has been, when I tell you, this has been one of my absolute dream cards literally since I started collecting I'm not joking I think like the second week I after I started collecting I saw what this was and ever since it has been like a dream photo card um I nearly cried when I opened this <laughs> I was shaking I'm just so excited to finally have this in my possession I didn't think I ever would um but I do, and uh, never say never, honestly. I'm so happy. I hope to eventually get the other hollow um, and have that join it, but I am in no means of a rush because this is just more than enough for the time being. So it's gonna get its own page. <laughs> I might eventually put this somewhere else, but right now I'm just gonna set it here. And you know, when I make fillers for things, I somehow get them no matter how far-fetched I think they are. So I'm going to leave these here for good luck. Please disregard the fact that I totally put that card in the wrong spot. <laughs> I do hopefully eventually, way, way, not not a priority, but I eventually would like to get Taze of this and maybe Jungkook's, but that's like, I feel like that's impossible. But, excuse me, Taze is so cute to me, and that is like one of my dream cards, so... Maybe in the future, but oh my gosh. I just can't stop looking at it, you guys. Okay, so we're skipping over my abysmal Japanese collection. <laughs> and we are going to broadcast cards, because I have two new broadcast cards here today. So I have my, I have Fake Love, and I have the second Mot 7 broadcast cards here. So, um, I know I am sorting these out of order. Please do not yell at me. <laughs> but this is just how it's going to be set up for now. Also, what, like, what pockets, like, uh, protector, pocket protector, or these things, sleeves. Oh my god, I forgot the word. What sleeves do you guys use for these? Because I don't like these, but I don't want to leave them unsleeved. So I can't find one that fits it perfectly and that I like. Please let me know in the comments what you use for your broadcast cards. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so there we go so far. Kind of a small broadcast collection, but we're getting there. Not a huge priority, but when I see them for a good price, I jump on them. And I also have the Yoongkook, um Butterfly Dream on the way, which is crazy to me. So, okay, I don't have anything for this page. But, you guys, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to show you this. I, what? <laughs> like, what? Are we joking? Am I actually showing you guys these photocards right now? Are these photocards actually mine? 
yes they are I'm just like in amazement that I got these so close together and that I actually particularly this one that I actually have these in my possession this these both have been dream cards but I knew I would eventually find this one this was one that I had thought okay I'm never getting this and yet here he is Kat Yoongi is top tier probably one of if not my most favorite photo cards along with this one I think these two and then the the heart hollow that I just showed you guys three new favorite photo cards without a doubt I'm just like I will stop my rambling, but I'm just in so much awe that I have these in my hands right now and that I'm putting these away in my binder. Um, so with this, my muster and fan meeting collection is pretty much complete, which is insane for me to say. Um, I have a DVD and a Blu-ray um, on the way for Suwuzu. Um, I don't know if I pulled Yungi yet, but they're coming. So we'll see. Once I have those, which should be not that hard to get, my muster and fan meeting collection is pretty much complete. Are we seeing this right now? What the heck, you guys? I'm just in so much awe. I cannot believe it. Let's look at the bags. Wow. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Okay, and then we're going to flip to my memories page. Um... I didn't think I'd have this soon either, but I found Yoongi's um, Memories of 2018 Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Like I, like I told you guys, I have all these new DVD cards, which is just crazy to me. Um, and I didn't think I would get this this soon. I even said like I thought I might be able to p complete this page this year on second thought. I don't know if I will because we all know that Memories of 2017 Blu-ray is crazy and you don't really get that unless you're really lucky or you pay a lot of money. So at the moment, I am calling my Memories collection complete. I know it is not complete. I know I still have Memories of 17 Blu-ray and they empty the diary, but at this rate, I do not know if I will ever have this, um, and I don't know when I'll have this. I do eventually really want to have this, but it's hard. It's really hard to find for reasonable price. So either I save up, <laughs> or we don't know what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, at the moment I'm calling memories complete, and I'm calling this complete until I um, once I get my Suwuzu collection. So I literally only have really the Blu-rays to find and then my DVD collection is 90% complete which is insane for me to say I can't believe it. This is my favorite part of my collection. I love DVD photo cards so much. I'm just so excited. Okay enough with the rambling. I'm going to put um I have two more DVD things here. So I have I have had this for a, a little bit um, because I have the DVD. I love the epilogue DVD. It's like one of my favorite DVDs of theirs. And I have this. Um, I've had this for a while. I just haven't had a pocket page to put in. So I'm just going to put this here. And then we'll put the, this is epilogue. Um, we'll put prologue here when I eventually get it. So it's going to just be on its own little page and then I have one more new page to add I have had these for over a year these are not new I've had these for a while but again, I just haven't had a pocket for them um, let me go grab them I have had these for over a year um, I actually pulled Tay um, and I just could not get rid of him so him and his cute little um, yellow beret. This is the London um, DVD bookmarks. And then my friend sold me Yoongi. So I'm just gonna put them here. I don't have a plan to collect Jungkook. Um, and maybe eventually I will sell Tay for the Sao Paulo bookmark because I don't have that for Yoongi yet. But 
I don't think I will <laughs> just because I'm very attached to this um, bookmark I think it was it was my first DVD I bought so it's special my first DVD pool okay there we go and now that's finally in my four ring binder so this is all that I have to sort today um, this video was super rambly but I'm just like so satisfied with the way that my collection is going right now it's just crazy to me I I'm just so happy just so happy let's let's look at the muster page again just so happy <laughs> um, so yeah I hope I don't take another three months to film a video um, I'll let you guys know how Chicago goes um, yeah tell me your thoughts in the comments if you have any questions for me let me know but it was nice talking to you guys I'll see you in my next video bye